Teresa did it. Teresa Judice of the Real Housewives of New Jersey and Louis Ruelas, who we will see on the next season of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, they moved into their investment property together. And we're going to see it on the new season. Welcome back to the Kempire Daily YouTube channel where you get daily and consistent hot topics in music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So as you know, we've been following, but we've been quiet about the Real Housewives of New Jersey's Teresa and her relationship with new boyfriend, Luis Ruelas. As you know, we broke the news. Well, we could have broken it even earlier about his sordid past, his exes. They've been in my DMs, dropping all kinds of receipts. So it's been a little quiet, but Lewis and Teresa are going strong. We heard earlier this year that they bought an investment property together, but there was no confirmation that they were going to move in together. Mind you, this relationship is still very fresh, still very new. And she has quite a, quite a few young daughters. But I'll save my opinion for later. So from what we're hearing, the new season, uh, which began, so they began filming season 12 in June and wrapped in September. And we thought we would be getting the new season this year, but there were multiple rumors that we probably won't get a new season until early 2022. Not sure what the delay is. I'm thinking maybe because we're hearing that we're going to see this move into this $3.35 million mansion, which they're saying is very Beverly Hills inspired. This is a very different relationship for, for Teresa, but the same in regards to she's dating someone allegedly that's very shady, very shady, and likes to start businesses and mix, his, mix and mingle his money with his lovers, allegedly, allegedly. But let's get into this because you know we love to look at property, okay? So this is what we're hearing. So as I said to you before, it's a 353 a $3.35 million mansion in New Jersey. It's actually a couple of houses down from the home that Melissa Gorga and Joe Gorga just put up for sale. But we've seen it multiple times on The Real Housewives of New Jersey. On October 8th, an insider told Page Six that Teresa and Louie's home is a Beverly Hills-style mansion in New Jersey, and it's absolutely breathtaking. Okay. They paid specific attention to detail. The insider continued adding that the moving process is a huge undertaking. So on this past Thursday, after boxes were dropped off at the estate, a couple of social media posts were shared, one of which has said it takes a village. So from what we, if you remember this, story, this timeline, they purchased this home together in January, quote, as a business investment. And then two months later in March, Teresa found a seller for her the, you know, the home that we saw her build, uh, I remember when she moved into that home. It was $2.2 million, six-bedroom, five-and-a-half-bedroom home in Montville, okay? Uh, it's hard for me to sell the house. This is what Teresa said about the home that she raised her kids with. She says, Joe and I built the house together. We raised our four daughters in that home, but I'm ready for a new beginning. I'm looking for a fresh start. But remember, she finalized her divorce from Joe, the father of her four daughters, which... G is 20, so she's grown. Gabrielle is only 17. Melania is 15. Oh, my God. I remember Melania. She's like a, a P. Oh, my goodness. And Andriana, we remember in Teresa's stomach. She's 12 years old. Uh, in September of 2020, that's when they got divorced after 20 years of marriage. Two months later, Teresa went public with her romance with Louis, who is a dad of two sons. So according to the Daily Mail, they're saying that Teresa and Louis enlisted the help of the Frandatoni family who own a design build firm and interior design branch to update their 7,728 square foot mansion, which boasts a home theater, an exercise facility, a rec room, a resort style pool, and more. So among the other renovations that they completed, they updated the kitchen with white countertops and black cabinetry and new carpeting in the foyer. So as you may recall, back in April, Teresa denied any sort of um, moving in. They should just label this mansion as a investment property, but no one believed her. She's not a great liar. Uh, no one believed her. Everyone, she already knew that people would be judging her because of how quickly this all transpired. Like you just met the man. It wasn't even a year. I don't, I think they probably just made a year of dating. It's a crazy situation, but look, it's her life. 
I think a lot of people are still just very concerned because she does have young daughters and because of his sordid past where allegedly he likes to have sex multiple times a day and if you don't do what he wants, he punishes you, allegedly. I mean, there have been multiple different stories about Louis. There's just something very shady about him. There have been a lot of different comments about him and I'm sure those comments will continue in the comment section here. But at the end of the day, Teresa's a grown woman. There are plenty of women very much like Teresa and women that don't have the same means or opportunities that, that Teresa does that do this every single day. I know a couple of them that bring men in. And I'm not saying that's what she's necessarily doing here. That just bring men in way too soon around their children. And some people have different viewpoints on that. Honestly, I don't have any kids, so I don't really have a viewpoint. I just know from what I've been told about Louis and what people have been trying to tell me. I see what you guys have been trying to slip some information to me. Unless it's something that I have not already received, I'm not interested. I just know from what we've heard that he seems to be a shady character. It will be interesting to watch their relationship on the show. I... I'm not that invested in this relationship. But what we hear, Teresa does have a big blow up this season. And I just have a feeling it's not going to be what we think it is. Because people are comparing it to the table blow up that she had with um, Danielle Staub. I think that's just going to be hype. I'm sure it's going to be very pre-produced. I know Dolores was talking about it. I'm... I'm going to watch. I felt Jersey was solid even during the pandemic. It was an entertaining season. But them trying to blow up this whole, oh, she's going to have a big moment. It's pre-planned. I'm not interested. But you never know. I reserve the right to be wrong. <laughs> and we will continue to watch it. But I want to know your thoughts on this. Do you think this is a good move on Teresa's part, moving in with this guy, Lewis, and this is big mansion co-mingling their money so early on and they're not even married even though look i'm sounding very old school and traditional but Teresa is old school and traditional italian that's one of the things that she has always told us on the show and maybe that's why she wants to take a different move this time around but it just seems like she's dealing with the same type of man at least this one likes to dress up and get botox and stuff allegedly Guys, let me know your thoughts. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching.